I just wanted to show these pawpaw tree seedlings that come up uh, in the spring. This is them. Uh, still got them in the house. I haven't uh, planted them out. I might plant them out today because I just don't want to leave them in here all, all winter. Um, I got a bunch of seeds in here too. Uh, pecan tree seeds from my mom, my mother's tree she's got. And other, and more pawpaw seeds and other uh, hazelnut seeds and stuff. I'm going to plant them all outside. I got a pretty good place. I'll show you that later. And these are some of the spaghetti squash that I harvested, acorn squash. And got more up here. different kinds and we've got these big squash but uh, I got no really no good place to store them I'm just gonna have to eat them maybe eat one a week or something got more there I brought the citrus trees inside for the winter and the fig trees and got the uh, Olive, two little olive trees here, and I dug up I dug up one of the Tabasco pepper plants that I had in the garden. I put it in a pot, and I'm gonna try to grow it all winter. I've done it before uh, with success, and these peppers I like them. They're pretty good and spicy. I like to put them in my beans and stuff like that, but. Um, Here's what I'm going to be putting around my trees today, my little tree ceilings, little tree protectors I make out of hardware cloth. I got a roll there. Might need to make some more. Uh, I'm going to go outside and get started on on that. So I'm going to go out and take a video of that, and show you how I do that, and uh, hang on. Be right back. Okay, I'm back here in one of the sections I want to work on today. I've got this uh, clover ground cover here. I've got uh, the crimson, crimson clover has kind of died out. I should have collected some seed so I could sow it other place. But it'll, it'll come back next spring. And then I've got this uh, red clover in here. And I've got all these... Uh, spruce trees, Norway spruce uh, planted in here as a hopefully to be a windbreak and I've got some arborvitaes, I think they're green giant fuges, I think they called them, I've planted over there on that on that uh, row and then I've got some more Norway spruce from about there down to there I've got little tree protectors around them so I need to take them off, clean the weeds from around them, and put the protectors back. And I'm going to put some little protectors around these also. And so that's, that's what I'm going to do right now. And I like using this tool here. It's a little Japanese made tool I ordered online. It, it cuts the weeds really well. I've used this a lot. Really like it. I uh, sharpen it with a stone before I use it and as I use it but uh, well I'll get busy and then show you some of the results hopefully. Well guys it's starting to sprinkle and it's, I believe it's going to rain so I have to abandon this job. I just want to show you uh, I cleared out all that clover from right around the, all these little trees Um, what I need to do is <clears throat> with the little fences I made around them. Actually, I got to make a bunch more because I, I realize I don't have enough. But so I've done that. I'm gonna put a little one around the bottom and put a big one around them like I did over here. So I've done all that, and then I come over here. And I, these had weeds like them over there, growing up in inside the 
little tree protectors, cages, whatever you want to call them. So I got all these cleaned out. Look a lot better now. And that's I want to do the same thing to these over here. See, so yeah, I got, got all them clean. I got a few more here to do. And I'm gonna walk back here. I think I'll go in the house out of the out of the rain. I'm gonna make a bunch of these bunch of these cages like that. See, I gotta clean all that from around here. These are the Fuges. And then I got these trees I'm fixing to show you back here. Then I need to put little tree protectors around because if I don't, the mice, rabbits, and deer will probably get them, kill them. cleared out all these weeds and they were terrible out from these trees oh, not too long ago this is a butternut and I'm gonna have to protect protect them butternut here another butternut these don't have any leaves but I'm not writing them off as dead because they might come around next spring and produce leaves so I've had many trees do that here a deer deer got that one these are Kentucky coffee trees now oh, that's a butternut uh, I don't know what that is butternut I guess it's a Kentucky coffee tree, I think. And it's starting to grow little leaves at the top. So these will probably do the same thing. And then I've got, which I cleaned out. It was, it was a mess. These are more hazelnuts I have. I've got a whole row of them and I cleaned all them out. I need to protect them too. That's a garden where I had a bunch of Cucumbers, melons, squash planted in. I need to bush hog that down. It's all gone now. But just want to give you that little update of what I've been doing, what I need to do. It's just never, never get caught up. <clears throat> Seems. But that's life. Just do what I can. Oh, I was going to, man, I was going to do so much for this start sprinkling, and I know it's going to rain. Here's a, an autumn olive bush. There's a few berries left on it. I was really wanting to get them. Uh, I've got some more on top of the pond. But maybe tomorrow, if it ain't raining, I'll come out here before I go to work and I pick them. Anyways, just wanted to make a video. I haven't made one for a while. I've got one loading now, and then I'll load this one. I was going to make one long video, but I decided to split it up. This takes so long to download, or upload rather. So, uh, God bless, and I hope everybody has a great week. Shalom.